So let's follow up a comparison video with another comparison. This time we go for Vulture. And uh, this is the Toybiz Vulture from way back in the day. And I think he came in a Sinister Six box set. So for a very long time, he was the only like good six inch scale Vulture there was. And he was also pretty expensive. But nowadays, I think he's dropped in price because this guy came out. And this is the Hasbro... Uh, I, I don't know the series, but it's really new, uh, Vulture. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at them. So, starting with the head sculpts, the Toybus one opts for almost like a caricature. It's... This is basically what a Vulture would look like if it was magically turned human. Like, you see the long nose, um, evil eyebrows, the very sly grin he's got going on, which I'm quite a big fan of. The eyes are painted really nicely, he's got liver spots all over the place. And, um, I mean, if you th look at this guy, you would go, oh, he sort of looks like a vulture. Meanwhile, this guy is an old man with a crooked nose. But it's still a really, really good looking head sculpt. Like, he's very, very expressive, like, you can... He's also got these really expressive hands, so... You can make him, like, all... Grabby, flying up towards you. Like, hee hee hee, I'm going to take your soul! Um... And, uh, it's also one of the better paint jobs I've seen on a Marvel Legends that isn't... Uh, their, um, photo real tech. So... As for, for the head sculpt, which one is better? It's sort of up to preference. I do really love this one, to be honest. But I feel like this one says Vulture a little bit more. After this comparison is over, I will try to do a head swap. Well, I will, I'm will. i going to have to modify it to um, make it properly fit. So um, don't go anywhere if you look forward to that. Anyway, for the rest of the body... This one keeps with the whole vulture motif a bit more, like you see the hunchback. Uh, this collar is also a lot more detailed, it actually looks like feathers. This one looks like whipped cream. I, I don't know. Uh, sculpt work on this, all these lines sculpted in. Meanwhile, on the Hesper one, they're all just painted in and they just fade away as we get to um, like the lower section. Meanwhile, this guy has the sculpted lines all over the body. As for the wings... I mean, this one has actual feathers. This one has these sort of... Almost techno-looking wings, but... I'm pretty sure in the old comics, like uh, back in the Steve Ditko era, the wings actually did look like this, so not completely off. But just for detail, these wings just look so much... Oh, they're beautiful. I don't know if maybe I could transplant them onto this guy somehow. And um, you're probably asking yourself, why do you want to transplant everything onto this body when this body is clearly the better one? Well, one, he's got these ugly looking hips, which I hate. And two, he doesn't have a butt. Yeah, I bought this figure loose on eBay and he was broken and he didn't come with um, this back piece. So these legs are just sort of clinging over dear life. Um, but moving on. Wait, I wonder if is this? Oh, this is hard plastic. Maybe I can pry it off because, yeah, this is a floating piece. So Maybe I can switch this? Not really sure if I'm going to, but... I mean, the figure's pretty much broken anyway, so... There's no real harm in doing that. Uh, articulation, arms go out. Swivel. Swivel here, okay. Ooh, this joint it feels really gummy. It feels like if I twist this, it's gonna tear right off. Let's see if it does. No, it didn't, it clicked. So the way these wings are attached are, is actually identical. Well, this one doesn't have a um, this one doesn't have a rotation here, but it's still set in the forearm. It's plugged in the forearm and the upper back bicep. I think in the on the original um, 
release of this, the wings attached to the shoulders, but that led to whenever you twisted this, the wings would like they wouldn't line up anymore. Um, what else? This one has 90 degree elbows and this one has double jointed elbows. But then you break up the wings, so I guess he doesn't really need more than 90, because otherwise it sort of looks a bit dumb. I'm seriously contemplating just gluing the... yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm seriously contemplating just gluing these guys in, and I put it in the wrong way. There we go. Because uh, they just keep falling off. There's a really nice little gradient paint work here as well. I mean, this one, look, it's lime green, and then it looks like they just threw a brown wash on for some reason. I think some gradient would be nicer. Uh, but this one has a gradient, dark green here, and then it just fades into a lighter green. It's quite pretty. As for the hips, you can kick. Double jointed knees. Just because you're old doesn't mean you have to put limits on yourself. This guy can move like a bad girl. And then the hands can do all sort of grabby motions. Once again, this sort of helps with the creepy old expressions I was referring to earlier that goes with this head sculpt. This guy... Okay, so Toybus... Toybus insisted on doing these stupid looking finger joints. They're not really good for anything because these hands don't really look natural. Like when do you ever just like do that with your hands? Never really. He's got these ugly looking hinges and then instead of having a rotation by the wrist you have one, well down here I mean it has a rotation here in the forearm which just breaks up the sculpt and it looks really dumb. Uh, no ankle pivot on this one. He's got the also I hate these joints these like calf joints I guess. It just breaks up the sculpt again. Uh, double jointed knees and no ankle pivots but the feet go up and down and they have a toe hinge so despite this body being the clear winner in terms of actual sculpt work this one is just so much more fun um, functionable I guess is the word is it that sounds a bit weird so uh, let's get on with uh, customizing